Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about the 2017 movie Asylum of Darkness. This is one that I got interested in because I'm a fan of Nick Baltazare. You may know him from Beyond Dreams Door, which was in the Vinegar Syndrome Homegrown Horror Volume 1 set. Very fun movie. And he was also in Heartland of Darkness, which was a lost film with Linnea Quigley that just got a Blu-ray release recently, and I reviewed that one on this channel as well. So, I'm actually surprised he hasn't been in more films. I enjoy his work. He was very pleasant with me on Twitter. We talked very briefly, and uh, I followed him on there. This movie's on Tubi. It is getting a DVD and Blu-ray release, I believe, according to Wild Eye Releasing, who has told me it is, but it is not out yet on Blu-ray, which is probably where I'll eventually buy it. The movie runs a little under two hours, and I just wanted to chat with you a little bit about it. He plays this character named Dwight Stroud, who is in a mental institution, hence the name Asylum of Darkness, and he is seeing all this crazy stuff. His doctor looks like a demon or some kind of dead being, and he's decaying in different forms as he sees the doctor in the mental institution sort of like a Jacob's Ladder type of feeling, but low budget. This movie was done by, um, directed, I, I don't know who it was written by, I don't remember, but it was directed by the same guy that did Beyond Dreams Door, and it feels sort of similar in a sense, in terms of crazy things happening, and you don't know where reality begins and ends with the character seeing all this insane stuff. So sort of like Beyond Dreams Door, he, um, he has this other friend in the movie, it's a thin black man who has one eye because he ripped his eyeball out because he didn't like what he was seeing. It's sort of metaphorical, there's a lot of imagery and subliminal stuff and symbolism in the movie, things that come out in pieces over the course of the film. Speaking of the course of the film, it's again under, right under two hours, it was a little long. This movie would have been good at like an hour and a half, they probably could have cut maybe 20 minutes, and gotten rid of a little bit of some of the filler. It does go off the rails a bit, just like the way Beyond Dreams Door leaves certain things up for imagination and certain things up to interpretation. You don't know which parts are real, which parts are him going insane. There's this whole plot about him escaping the mental institution, and I don't want to give too much away, but it's sort of like a soul jumping bodies type of story where he ends up in someone else's body, and now he tries to take on the role of that person's life and be happy again, but his insanity is progressively getting worse as the story goes on, and he doesn't know kind of what to make of things. So I don't want to say too much. Um, the story could be a little messy at points. I thought Beyond Dreams Door was more coherent, but it definitely is similar in tone, in feeling, and some really cool special effects, just like Beyond Dreams Door. It also reminded me a little bit of Attic Expeditions by um, Jeremy, K is it Kasten? I can't think of his name. Uh, Seth Green was in that. So if you like that sort of low budget, mystery, insane asylum thing, I would recommend it. Again, it's a little long in the tooth and it could have used a little bit of a, an edit job in that regard, but it's a fun movie. It keeps you thinking and it's definitely low budget but you will recognize some other actors and actresses in the film. It has Tim Thomerson in it, who I love from the Trancers series, you'll know him, and Tiffany Shepis, who is a B-movie scream queen. Just know what you're getting into. This isn't a high budget, high production value film. This is definitely like a wild eye releasing rental type of B-movie horror atmosphere thing. You have to like low budget films and schlockiness to like it but it takes itself pretty seriously. And again, there is some cool special effects and gore and crazy masks and demons and stuff. So I enjoyed it. I kind of went over some of its shortcomings and some of the stuff I liked. Again, I don't want to say too much about the plot because I feel as it progresses, A, it gets a little messy and I don't think I can explain it well, but also if I explain too much, I'm gonna ruin the story for you. So overall, if you're a fan of those movies I named, Beyond Dreams Door, Attic Expeditions, and you like Nick Baltazare, check out 
Asylum of Darkness on Tubi, I would give it a recommendation if you fit all that criteria. If you want something more highbrow, you won't like it, but I like cheesier stuff and more low budget films that have heart, and this has some heart to it. So let me know guys if you've seen Asylum of Darkness, and if you did, what you thought of it, and if you watch it after watching this video, please come back and let me know what you think. Thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.